Lance Mike Tan. The untold story of him wrestling as of honor. LanceByChance.com Fans, welcome back for Working Fans Wednesday, episode 25. I will be joined shortly by the man called Dave and AJ Strangebrew, and we're going to do a live 531 on top WrestleMania main events in honor of this last weekend being WrestleMania 37. Now, we will also be covering tonight's MLW and AEW cards. Now, you can find us on social media in addition to the ones listed there. On Twitch, we are fans working. Our email is workingfanswrestlingpod at gmail.com. Our YouTube is youtube.com slash C slash workingfanswrestlingpod. Our website, workingfanspodcast.com. Now, our podcast schedule is our comedy podcast releases every Tuesday. Wrestling releases every Thursday. We're available on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, Pocket Cast, any major podcast provider. The important thing to remember, please, is to like, rate, review, subscribe wherever you listen to us. Now, as always, we're brought to you by a variety of sponsors. First, 482 Designs. That's F O U R 82 Designs at gmail.com. Email them for any of your screen printing needs. You've seen the shirts and the stickers that we sell that they put out. WrestleTopia at WrestleTopia on Twitter and WrestleTopia on Facebook. Like I said last night, great G Drive sales. You've seen JD Sloan on the show before. Now, you know Dave and I are the commentators for Knockout Wrestling, and AJ is hosting the Knockout Podcast coming up soon, Knockout Rewind. Also, Lance by Chance, you saw the commercial at the top of the show. That is how Kevin Vaughn became Lance Vaughn Eric and then Lance Vaughn. Written by Vinnie Barry and Lance Vaughn, tells the story of his life before wrestling, how he got into the business, and the wild life that he has lived since then. It is an amazing book. Wrestling fans and non-wrestling fans alike will love this. Now, last but not least, we are brought to you by The Buzz. That is our podcast network, our podcast family, if you will. I'm going to play a quick commercial showing the variety of live shows in addition to ours that they offer. And when that is done, we will bring the guys in and we will talk top WrestleMania main events. Whoa. Tell them that's what we ready for. Whoa. Tell them that's what we ready for. Whoa. Bringing that to competitors. Do we see the confetti fall? Be ready for Whoa. Tell them that's what we ready for. Whoa. Tell them that's what we ready for. Whoa. Bringing that to competitors. Do we see the confetti fall? Be ready for Whoa. Tell them I'm ready in the opponent. The crown heavy and every minute that shows it. A path only fit for kings, and you don't know what this court means. What did you win this for? If it isn't getting more rings, then you gon' have to switch your team. Uh, trust me, it gets more mean. I'm a nightmare going up against your dreams. First step is explosive like a bomb hit. Better 
fire, let it fly, I cannot miss. And you ain't got a chance to top 10 when you getting clamped all night by your locksmith. On the block, throwing lobs to my top pigs. I'm a chef, no look, what's the top dish? Tie game, food of pressure, Mr. Clock. Guys, Ooh. we survived WrestleMania <laughs> weekend. Mm. How are you guys doing today? Good, AJ. Dude, I'm water. on fire. It was a hot mm -hmm. weekend of action all weekend mm. long between WrestleMania, between all the independent wrestling throughout it, mm. blood sport. My God, my God, my God. It That's is a great time to be alive. This weekend too. <laughs> Him and his wife. <laughs> now, guys, Woo! if you want to hear our opinions on WrestleMania weekend, you're going to have to listen to not only tomorrow's podcast where AJ and Dave sit down with comedian Pat Oates and well, discuss WrestleMania weekend. AJ will be there for the first few minutes. <laughs> he, he was there for part of it. Yeah, not only but, did he run away from his wife, he also ran away from his job, we found out. But <laughs> there is also going to find be, out. <laughs> there's going to be a bonus episode the next day where Dave and I sit down and talk about a lot more of the independent shows that happened and kind of like my journey through what I watched. But tonight... More of a guy, we, yeah. We Guys, are here to talk top WrestleMania main events of all time. Oh, <clears throat> I'm fired up for this one. I've been waiting for it, chomping at the bit. I can't wait to destroy the fact that everybody's going to say Hogan versus Warrior. I don't, How I don't easy have that one was this? Oh, wow, I do. <laughs> uh, where's Randy at? Did he give you a list? <laughs> he did not give me a list. I assume he's going to pop up in the comments any second now, but I'll go first because... For me, this list was, I thought, really easy to write because I had Hogan versus Andre, WrestleMania 3, Hogan Warrior, WrestleMania 6, Hart Michaels, WrestleMania 12, Triple H, Benoit Michaels, WrestleMania 20, and Orton Batista mm -hmm. Bryant, WrestleMania 30. Oh, that's a good one. Uh, that is a good list. That's uh, really solid, except for the uh, Ultimate Warrior and Hulk Hogan. <laughs> Hogan Andre and Hogan Warrior, I had to put on there because of where they are in like my wrestling history, where mm. even though that Hogan Warrior match may not live up to good wrestling standards, it was a spectacle, and I can remember going to like the video store and wanting to get that tape by seeing uh, yeah. just cover... So that in the Andre, there's Randy. I knew he'd be here eventually. Well, I, I got to tell you, that match actually meant a lot to me also. But the reason why it meant a lot to me was because it showed me what style of wrestling I never, ever, ever wanted to do. How old were you when that took place? That was 1990. So he must have four, been 14. Nah, yeah, not even. You were about to be 14. I was that about to turn 14. You don't think yeah. I was old enough at that point? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't think you were actually. <laughs> You're out of your mind. I would, you know how I think. Well, then you see Triple H, Benoit, Michaels near the end of the list with Orton, Batista, Bryan, and there's mm -hmm. certainly a definite, a better work rate down there. Once, once you brought that home, your list was made. I, uh, I went with a little bit different. I went with um, more just like buzzworthy. Um, so Austin and Rock, WrestleMania 17. Uh, headlines my list. One of great lines think alike. He, he's not wrong. Um, great build. That Limp Biscuit video back in the day, or uh, my way. But it was just so good with Austin and Rock and the sit down interviews they had with Jim before that, where it just felt so real. Um, I also had to put Austin and Rock from WrestleMania 15 down, just because the match itself was just so damn electric. Philadelphia crowd. I actually remember watching that. With AJ at one of his uh, dad's house in Norwich, maybe at the time. But yeah, I believe so. Super, yeah, I think we watched that in the late hours the time we got home. Um, uh, Taker HBK in terms of match quality, Sean's career on the line. I uh, did not remember what mania that was, but one of the earlier manias, the one in Texas. Uh, such a back and forth match. Um, I had to put that one down. Uh, Hogan Andre WrestleMania 3. Uh, similar, like you said, for word to me, this was just the height of my uh, childhood uh, fandom. <laughs> Fuck out of here, this guy. <laughs> and, um, oh, yeah. <laughs> but Hogan Andre was also big box office. And, um, you know, hard to not deny that. And then my one selfish, really just self selfish one I put in there um, HBK versus Austin WrestleMania 14, because baby, that's where one me and AJ went to Boston Garden. 
And I wasn't going to put uh, LT and Bam Bam Bigelow there, even though I went to that one as well. <laughs> Well, for my list, you know Austin and um, Sean, Mr. HBK, are on my list from Boston also because we were at that show. They were. And right. with Mike Tyson involved also, the place was going bananas. Oh, electric Pretty, crowd. They were hanging from the rafters. Absolutely. Um, I got, believe it or not, The Rock versus John Cena. Uh, <laughs> you can say whatever you want about it, but it did draw the crowd and it did – have us electrified when the rock was in there maybe it didn't quite live up to what it should have mm. but it, it it did deliver box office so that's a big one for me yep. undertaker versus Shawn michaels streak versus career um that has to be one of the top main events for one of the few times a world title match did not close the show um triple h versus Shawn michaels versus ben y still get a little choked up watching it when i can find the footage <laughs> and then one that I'm surprised that has not been mentioned, Bret Hart versus Shawn Michaels, the Iron Man match. To me, that showed what a um, – what? I think – There's number no three on my thing. list. There's number no three on his list. <laughs> I'm sorry. He what? mentioned that one right after Ultimate Warrior and Hogan. <laughs> so you were still so fired up about Warrior. Like, I, I, I was so pissed off about the Warrior versus Hogan that I missed hearing his number three. You have been anti-Warrior for as long as I've known you. I yeah. am the most anti-warrior. I know that he's one of Jake St. John, the um, wonderful author from um, Griswold, Connecticut. It's one of his top wrestlers of all time. I However, it's available on Amazon right now. You like yeah. you like how you like how I just slide that right <laughs> in there. Um, and then my last one that I'm going to talk about is, and I think that this changed the game for women's wrestling. Ronda Rousey, Becky Lynch, and Charlotte Flair as the main event. I think that it's just completed an evolution, and it's just such a milestone for wrestling that that has to be included in there. I didn't almost want to make me wish I'd put Bel Air and Bex just for that moment this weekend. I thought that stole the show. Yeah, because that wow. really paved the way for that. Yeah, it did. Now, um, I do want to add in this because, you know, AJ had it's funny. I'm like the biggest Bret Hart fan here. Randy wants we didn't to break up the tag team here. <laughs> WrestleMania 11, baby. Wow. Hart for Connecticut. I remember it well. I, <laughs> I, I think Joe's going over. Davy Boy Smith has been dead for a while. <laughs> it's a podcast mic fight. I remember yeah. I went for the superplex, and as I was going to float over, Joe hooked my leg and got the hit. <laughs> God, got me again. He still hasn't gotten over that. <laughs> I can't believe Dave still calls his Johnson a uh, mic stand. <laughs> all right let's get to the top three now i i say it's gotta be hogan andre undertaker sure. michaels and hart michaels that's fine um uh wait a minute whoa 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 we have another one that made multiple lists on there triple h um benoit and i believe uh sean michaels made all three lists oh yeah no it didn't oh didn't make all three which it, one did it not make? Didn't make my I list. think Backley brought it up. Uh, my bad. Well, I mean, I, I, I got to start listening to you guys more. Well, <laughs> I mean, HBK and Austin was on multiple lists too, but I'm all right with the Iron Man match making the third in there because the real. Yeah, yeah, I know you're all right with that. But I didn't even have it on my list. <laughs> I, but I'm not. But I'm not all right with the Ultimate Warrior and Hogan. Did that got to be on the list? He didn't mention them. He mentioned Hogan Andre. She <laughs> oh, stopped doing medicine. Yeah, before Hogan you Andre, the show today. <laughs> Undertaker, Michaels, Hart, Michaels. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'm I'm good with all three of those. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> Well, we're off the rails tonight, folks. <laughs> Let's I'll tell make you what it I'm easy. gonna do right off the bat. I'm gonna kick off my I'm gonna kick out my favorite wrestler, Bret Hart, because even though Bret has some of my favorite matches of all time, like one of my favorite WrestleMania matches, Bret versus Austin. This main event one was a good one, but it wasn't in my elite favorites. So. The the problem was is that it just wasn't decisive after 60 minutes in the Iron Man match. Um, nobody likes the end of that match. Well, I just, I, I kind of agree with Conrad. I know it's not a popular opinion, but Iron Man matches, for the most part, like, you kind of know, like, until the last five minutes, yeah. like, you're just going to be waiting around. <laughs> so. See, but I think that's one that kind of bucks the trend because they're so technical. I don't almost want to watch the whole hour to see what they can no, fit in I there. I enjoyed the whole hour. Yeah. It was the bullshit shenanigans at the end with Gorilla Monsoon and the... It, it, that's the crap that I didn't like. Gorilla. <laughs> Bananas. 
<laughs> All right, so we got Hogan Andre, basically what the match that made WrestleMania versus yeah. career versus title, which was one of the modern classics. Yeah. Um, you know, we didn't put on this list, which is another great match that uh, actually made a vetted mania that wasn't for the belt. HBK versus Flair. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. That's uh, we'll and but the reason why I went Taker instead of that one mm -hmm. was because I just thought that Flair was at a point in his career. We knew it was happening. Where, yeah, and he just couldn't deliver. Right. The way HBK, that they did with Hunter Taker. Like, man, HBK can still go. Is he really retiring? Well, I mean, if uh, you think about it, you got 37 years worth of main events and you're picking five. So there's obviously going to be ones that you're a fan of. I'll you tell you, might not make that list. I'll tell you how I decide this. Let me ask you again. What are we picking tonight? The top WrestleMania matches all time or my favorite? Top WrestleMania main events. Top. It's Hogan Andre. <laughs> it's gotta be. It's it's gotta be Hogan and Andre. Yeah. <laughs> um if if it's my favorite of the two, then it would be the other one. Yeah. <laughs> if it, if it's the one that Man, meant close. the most to wrestling, Hogan and Andre and Andre drew drew a house that wasn't even touched, even if they were lying about the numbers. Not even close to being touched for yeah. freaking thirty years, for Christ's sakes. Yeah, it, and it, yeah, it, it's it put everything, it put all of wrestling on the map. I know people like to go, oh, WrestleMania put wrestling on the map. WrestleMania didn't. The original WrestleMania sucks. WrestleMania three, however, put wrestling on the map, and that's, um, um, and it looked so giant in that stadium. Yeah, and I mean. It was such a big moment. Hulk Hogan still riding off of that today. As uh, <laughs> all you had to do was watch WrestleMania this weekend, and we still get Hulk Hogan. <laughs> yeah, and I yeah, mean, if you think about it, he was in what most, like the first seven, all but first one. nine. Yep. Yeah. All but I, I one like he main evented, and that's insane. Mm -hmm. I like how uncomfortable Hulk Hogan looks around black people. <laughs> <laughs> Looks I like in that pirate costume, though. He doesn't mind looking a fool. Dude, night two, they were booing that motherfucker. <laughs> like, they tried to hide it, but that wasn't happening. And then Titus would talk, and they're like, yeah! And then Hogan would talk, boo! I'm like, this does not look good. What a I mean, I mean, if they really wanted to prove that Hogan wasn't a racist, they should have had him just come down and raise Bianca Belair's hand as they were um, putting the belt on her. It's not going to work for me, brother. And to answer uh, back his question here, I mean... Not necessarily, because a lot of times, I mean... Um, How often was the main event of WrestleMania the not the best match? Always the best match at Mania, yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, Ricky Steamboat and freaking... You weren't um, going to get better than Steamboat Savage, no matter yeah. what. Anyway, there's no disgrace in that. But, but, but that's my point, is that how often is the match that you remember as the best match on the card? I mean, this year, my favorite match is uh, probably Cesaro and freaking... Um, uh wow what's his name there um rollins, rollins. Uh, yeah sorry it's going blank there for a second uh, uh you know what honestly for this year oh you're right that's right there i would say that triple threat match night two <clears throat> was just so well done so awesome and i thought I had the best action from bell to bell and then at the same time i thought yeah but they ruined one, it at the end what's that they ruined it at the end what that double stack pin head of the table yeah, that bitch no your roll <laughs> that's horrible <laughs> No, you damn wrong. <laughs> it says some respect on Roman's name. And then night one was the most emotional main event. I mean, Bianca just totally like sucked me in. I was ready. And I, I mean, no, she did. And they did put on a great show. I just really enjoyed the uh, Cesaro match. It was I, good. I, and I know you're a big, big Cesaro fan. I am too. But, but, but well, here's the he thing for me emotionally. Um, emotionally, I was drawn into the Cesaro, and I was also emotionally drawn into Bianca Belair's match. Yeah. The fact that you could see at the beginning how much that it meant to her mm -hmm. uh, drew us even even more in. Well, you know what? Lance is wrong. <laughs> <laughs> He's only one of the greatest <laughs> mind in fucking wrestling. What Lance, does he know? <laughs> first of all, Lance Storm is never wrong. I, I fact, love Lance. The I'd fact like to that hear his input on it. <laughs> I like the to fact, find out why he was mad. The that fact was... that Lance Storm has never made a vented WrestleMania is a disgusting um, disgrace to the industry. Well, I guess he said the camera angles gave him headaches, and sometimes oh, that's the what it was. Yeah. And be a bit too much. Okay, I think me and AJ will agree on this. Um, we're not. I mean, there's a lot of people that have that problem. AJ, do you give a shit about the camera angles? Uh, I couldn't give two shits about right. the camera angles. That's all I, have to. I don't even notice it. <laughs> Some people don't like it though. 
Yeah, right. if, the re- if the wrestling's on fire, I couldn't give two shits about the camera angle. Ooh, this wrestling's on fire. First, first, first of all, nobody's done good camera angles since World Class Championship Wrestling. <laughs> Nobody. Since Fritz was in there getting those upskirt shots of Precious. <laughs> All right, so now we'll move on from WrestleMania talk because it was a full weekend, and NXT has moved to Tuesdays, so it has kind of changed the shape of our Wednesday night shows. Previously, we'd cover NXT, AEW, MLW. Then, this- now, forever. I'm, I'm, I'm still yeah, gonna watch. Forever, I'm still, I'm still gonna watch AEW first. <laughs> I actually, I'm actually taping the Tuesday NXT and watching it after AEW. You are not. You just nice. Well, <laughs> let's start with MLW because to me, I think this card is fire tonight. You oh, have absolutely. versus Mil Muertes for the National Open Weight Championship. Mm. That's going to be two bruisers going in there. Real hoss fight. I blacked got- out for a second. I thought you were going to say Mil Massacre. I'm like, he's back. <laughs> Uh-oh. Sorry, you got L- no, no No job. <laughs> You got Los Parks versus Dirty Blondes for the MLW Tag Championship. Ooh. Dirty Blondes were featured a lot earlier on in the MLW run. Right. I really liked them, and now I'm glad to see they're returning. They're not going to win, but it's going to be good. And a, sh- a feud that's been building since MLW's returned with new footage is Richard Holiday versus Gino Medina. And they're putting the Caribbean Championship on the line. I'm uh, Richard Holiday all the way. Love yeah, that that's guy. That's going to be a great match. That's going to be hard hitting. It's going to be action throughout. Former guest of the show, Richard Holiday. Damn right. Now Myron Holiday. Reed is also going to speak exclusively as he continues to pressure Leo Rush for a title opportunity. Mm. And the segment that I'm most interested in, ML cam- cameras are going to journey to Hawaii. Because Kevin Von Erich is going to present Ross and Marshall with the opportunity of a lifetime. Oh, what that is? Man tag. Wow, that could be awesome. I mean, I'm hoping, but that's not definite. That's not weird. (laughs) I don't know how you present it. I want to present you with the opportunity of a lifetime. We've got a chance. Me, my sons. (laughs) We've. (laughs) <laughs> We've got a chance, guys. We're going to go to Dallas and rebuild the Sportatorium. <laughs> brick by brick, fellas. <laughs> Here's your shovels. Let's go. <laughs> I don't know about that. Um, I think Gargano is just something uh, to answer back in the comments there. Is Gargano and Cross being kept far away from each other for as long as possible? I don't know. I do like the idea of that match. Obviously, Cross would be the face right now. Um, but... Um, yeah, I feel like Gargano's just doing a separate thing here, kind of keeping the mid-card going with that. He okay, this. I hate the fact that we're talking about Gargano and Cross when we could be talking about Index. Indy well, Hartwell yeah. and Dexter Loomis. Oh I God. mean, if that's not the best couple in wrestling, Index, I don't <laughs> know who is. Now, Randy, fan of the show, turned us on to Amber Nova. We got mm-hmm. her on the show. She was yep. on Dark last night. She is on AEW tonight. And yes. that is a perfect time to move to the AEW card. Anthony Agogo is going to make his debut, British boxer. Is he wrestling Nova? <laughs> no, no. I don't know. Who. I don't uh, feel like that's going to go well for Amber Nova. So Chris Batman actually has a match with Amber Nova, and I'm oh, okay. excited for that. That's going to be something. Jade Cargill versus Red Velvet. Yeah. The singles match we've all been waiting for. Oh, Darby. yeah. Darby Allen versus Matt Hardy for the TNT championship. <sighs> Darby well, that's Hardy. interesting. I don't know if you guys saw on um, the being the elite this week, but Matt Hardy had a big thing where he talked about uh, being the older wrestler, how he had been pointed out to him by for Darby Allen. And he basically talked about, well, get ready because what's it going to look like when you lose to this older wrestler? And this old washed up wrestler. And I, I thought that was actually a pretty good line on being the elite this week by Matt Hardy. By the way, um, RIP and our condolences, obviously, to Matt Hardy and the Hardy family oh, yeah. losing their father this week to um, mm-hmm. his battle. Yeah, definitely. Now, also, we've got Young Bucks versus Pac and Phoenix for the tag team championship. Mm. That's the one I'm looking forward to. Yeah. Really? Because for me, it's Jericho versus Dax Harwood, and it's not because Tyson's the special enforcer. That is a little bit that's not needed, but 
seeing Dax in there with Jericho, I think we're going to get a pretty good match. That's going to be great, but I think the Bucks are losing the titles. I think Moxley's going to actually cost the Bucks the titles. Really? It happened. <laughs> yeah, <you're lying. laughs> I, I, I wish you were right. But the Bucks didn't just make a heel turn last week just to get fucking jobbed out this week, I don't think. That was the least decisive heel turn I've ever seen in my life. Uh, this will be Randy's first time watching AEW Live since the Shaq match. So. It, it, Shame on you, Randy. That means Randy must have been an NXT first watcher. Yes, and he was. Randy, this change in programming, does it make it easier now for you to decide which to watch so you don't have to go between the two? <clears throat> Frankly, it's filled up my Tuesday nights because I pay for NWA Power. They had yep. NWA Power Surge last night, which I wasn't crazy about because <clears throat> if you're running the show on YouTube, that's fine. Do like a recap show. I'm paying for the shit. I'm watching it. Like I don't even know what happened last week. Like they gave us one match. They gave a hell of a Paro promo, mm -hmm. basically talking about he had to go over to Japan and yeah. get his spot. Uh, and I, wa he I watched like it. A horse. I want to say, actually, I do appreciate this. Paro, uh, May Valentine goes to the Paro. And we want to, you know, how cool was it? You came out at the end of the set with the flag and you were one of the first openly gay wrestlers. And he's like, yeah, it was great. And then you guys had to go to Japan because I couldn't get on here. And I got to work my ass to get back here. So I was like, he just totally shot it down and was like such a heel. I thought, ah, this is good stuff. So good for him. I like yeah, that. I Will thought Ospreay it was a hell of a than Kenny Omega. Really? I actually, I actually think Will Ospreay might actually be getting to the point where he is actually better than Kenny Omega. I think the quality of the matches that he's putting on right now and the level that he's risen to, I think that he's second to none right now, Will Ospreay. Yeah, I wouldn't have predicted him as IWGP heavyweight champion this mm -hmm. quickly. I would have said give it like another year or two, but he's been doing I, a lot for that company. I, I don't know if any of you guys took the time to watch that um, documentary that I told you about. I did. I did not. But, but if you watch that documentary, you'll get a whole new respect for Will Ospreay. Absolutely phenomenal. And this kid has got such a bright future if he can stay healthy. By the way, people are uh, forgetting uh, this Sunday, Impact Wrestling Rebellion. It's going to be Rich Swan versus Kenny Omega, AEW versus Impact World Title Unification Match. I did forget about that shit. That's right. Uh, yeah, that's because that's because it's forgettable. <laughs> we all know Swan's no, taking no, the belt. <laughs> no, nobody, no, nobody believes that Rich Swan is beating Kenny Omega. Oh, I can't wait, man! He's gonna hit him with that big old splash. <laughs> Rich, Rich <laughs> Swan doesn't believe that Rich Swan's gonna beat Kenny Omega until he shows Rich, up and sees the booking sheet. You're going over, bro. <laughs> Rich Swan's mother doesn't believe that Rich Swan's going over Kenny Omega. Kenny's I think like, his mother is dead, actually. I think he that's lost why his parents when he was young. <laughs> Kenny? Because <laughs> she didn't want to see him not win the title. Kenny's like, I'm retiring, Don. I don't want anyone to know about it. I'm dropping the belt to Rich Swan here tonight. And then you're going to be but, shocked. We have to look at the AW next week. Where which swan's coming out with both belts? <laughs> Ooh, Bind Bind juice versus the good brother. That's right. That's also the yeah. Sunday. That that actually, believe it or not, more entertaining of a match for me than the main event. Uh, I mean, that's a foregone conclusion. Good brothers getting attack belts back. That's Swan Omega. Man. I think. I think Swan inside cradle. <laughs> we got. Got guys. Hold on a second. I got breaking news here for you. <laughs> oh good. Uh, th this one's going out to Randy Osga. Um, I don't know why you spoiled this for everyone. We are working on a documentary. Uh, Joe is filming it. Dave's doing the commentary. Mm. And we will be doing uh, the life of AJ Strange, bro. Oh, yeah. So thank you for bringing that up, Randy Oscar. <laughs> <laughs> it's just going to be a lot of videos of AJ's wife yelling at him. <laughs> you're you're, you're going to see me do the job a lot. <laughs> Never was. And Randy, <laughs> that's how your heroes fall. But join us next week. And Randy made a suggestion earlier. How about we do top Starcade main events next week? Mm. Absolutely. You know going to be at the top of my list. Kiss my ass with that flare race 83 shit. <laughs> well, guys, all, 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 all I know is we'll never be able to beat the mighty Gene Kaniski. Kaniski. <laughs> All right. Note. Well, guys, we will join you again next week and have a good one.
Good night. <laughs>